hi guys okay so today I filmed this like bluish green smoky eye um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it but yeah I'm gonna go with it I looked in my makeup drawer and I saw this pigment and at first I wanted to use glitter like I have glitter sitting right here but I'm like mm, I don't want to use glitter once I saw it on my eye I was like oh I just want it to be really smoky and yeah um that's pretty much that I hope you guys enjoyed this look I think that it was super easy super simple I only used about four or five shadows actually Oh, excuse me. Actually, I do have a just regular black smoky eye coming up soon. And it'll kind of look like this. So you can honestly skip adding this pigment on top, which is by Coastal Scents in the color... I don't know. It'll, look, it'll be down below. But you can honestly skip out on that part. And just um, add a black shadow on top of the base. You'll see what I'm talking about in the video. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And leave all the suggestions listed down below. And on to the video. Hey guys, okay, so I decided to do a voiceover because I never really do them. So yeah. The first color that I'm taking is this color Fawn. And it's by Anastasia. I use this all the time as my first transitioning shade. And then I'm going to go into the Tartlet palette and go in, I'll leave the actual name listed down below, but I'm going to take another brown. I'm using a lot of browns in this um, in this tutorial. I'm going to take that and use that on top of it, just as kind of like my second but first crease color, if that makes sense. So I'm just using that. It's a little bit darker, and it comes off, it's a cool tone brown. So make sure that it's not warm or it's going to come out looking different. And then I'm going to go in and mix that dark brown and that black together. And I want it to be even deeper in that crease just so that it can give that smoky effect and so that it'll be uh, much darker when we apply the uh, blue on top. Like I said, this is pretty much just going to be like a black smoky eye. But what's going to be different is us adding that blue pigment from Coastal Sense. It's either by Coastal Sense or BH Cosmetics. Either one um, on top. Then I'm going to take Black Bean by NYX and apply that on my lid. Now, like I said before, I do this all the time. If you don't want to add that blue or blue color on top, you can just put Black Bean and then set it with a dark black, like the darkest black eyeshadow that you have, and you'll have like a really nice smoky eye. I'm just using this as a base so that the color can come up super dark and not really light. Then I'm going to go back in with that brown and that black and blend that out just so that I won't have any harsh lines and so that you can't tell that I did apply that base. So now I'm spraying my brush with some NYX setting spray before I dip it in the pigment. That's the pigment right there. Um, and then I'm going to put it on top of my eyelid. Um, the shadow is super pretty. It has like a little sparkle to it. You can't really tell, but it definitely does have some type of sparkle. There's an Anastasia shadow that I have. I'll leave that listed down below that you can use if you don't have this. I think I only pay like two or three bucks for these, um, pigments. Like I said, I think they came from Coastal Scents, and Coastal Scents always have a sale. Now I'm going to go in with some liquid liner. I think that, I don't think that I have this part in there, but I do set the liquid liner with like a black matte eyeshadow because I don't really want the liner to show. I'm just kind of putting it down there so that it can cover the band. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara just so that I can prep my lashes for, um, so I can prep my lashes. Just, yeah, so I can prep my lashes for our falsies. So, yeah, I'm using the Queen Bee Lashes. I love using Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes um, when I'm doing a smoky eye. I don't know why, but I love these lashes when I don't do a wing. They, I don't know. I just love them. Like, if I do a wing, then I usually typically go to another, um, go towards another lash. Now I'm just using the Too Faced uh, Hangover Primer. I love, like, this is my favorite, my favorite primer. Even though Too Faced is kind of like, it should be canceled, but that's another story. But the primer is so good. Uh, so I apply that to my face, and then I'm going to go in and use my second favorite foundation, and that is my Smashbox Foundation 15-Hour Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. If you haven't tried this, and, well, if you like, if you like this one, I definitely recommend trying the stick formula as well because I love that. I use that form I use that when I want like a really natural everyday look. 
not this one because this one is buildable even though this one isn't like super oh my god it's a lot of foundation you can definitely build this one up but if you want something even like more natural than this foundation I recommend the stick foundation I love it and it comes with the contour and I love the contour in this uh, video I don't think you're gonna really see it I think you'll see me blending it out but I use the contour from that Smashbox stick foundation because I'm out of the uh, foundation but I still have the uh, contour left so now I'm just gonna go in with Tarte Tarte is definitely like on the bad list or whatever but yeah I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm using that to um, highlight my face and all that other good jazz I'm gonna go in this part isn't shown either but I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier and set my concealer using that I love the Laura Mercier in the medium deep I don't use the regular translucent powder just because it's too light for my skin tone but yeah I love using it that's the only setting powder that I use I used to use the Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder but I feel like that's too light for me but I would definitely recommend so right here this is what I'm saying I'm using the Smashbox um, contour part of the foundation and I'm just using a real techniques uh, blending sponge is it just me like I haven't used a real techniques uh, sponge in so long but I feel like it's so much denser than it used to be I don't know I used to love this sponge but now I'm kind of like eh I want my beauty blender back like I used to be one of those people that's like oh no it's a dupe but it's definitely not so now I'm going in with the Tarte uh, and Makeup Shayla contour kit I'm going to use that to contour my face and set that contour and all that other jazz. Now I'm just blending everything out using a uh, brush. I'm not sure the name of the brush or anything like that because I got it as a gift. It was kind of like in a gift set or whatever. But the brush is really good. And now I'm just going to go underneath and apply like some black um, eyeshadow and a little bit of a green shadow because I didn't put that blue. But once I mix the two together, you couldn't really see how. So now I'm going to go in with NYX Black and Brown Lip Pencil. Um, I honestly don't even know if it's a lip pencil. But uh, I use it as a lip pencil. And then I'm going to go over it with Chestnut. I didn't want to just use Chestnut by itself because it was going to be too light. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite new lipsticks. And this might scare a few of you, but I love it. And it's Chai Latte. It's either Chai or Chai Latte by Sephora. I love it. One of my favorite new lipsticks. I do have a new lipstick video coming. It'll probably be up next week sometime. But yeah, one of my favorite new lipsticks, hands down. I love it. I had lost it, and then I went into Sephora, and I'm like, I have to pick it up. Hi, guys. Okay, so this is the completed look. Um, Yeah, I really like the way it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave other suggestions of videos that you would like to see down below, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.